Hello everybody, thank you for pressing play on today's video. My name is Charlene Luciano and I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! How cute is this little chocolate holder? It's a coffee mug, but isn't that just so cute? And so what I did was I filled it with a gift card. Um, I wrapped some Hershey's nuggets and I put it in this cute little bag and tied a bow. But isn't that just darling? I love the way this turned out. And it is so easy. And you can get two mugs out of one sheet of paper. So I'm going to show you how I made this. I have a piece of early espresso and this is cut at eight inches by five and a half so you can get two out of one sheet of cardstock um, I also have a, a piece of scrap and that's going to be for the handle okay so I'm going to bring over my simply scored scoring board and with the eight inches along the top with the eight inches along the top I'm going to score it at one and a quarter I'm going to score it at two and a half I'm going to score it at three and three quarters I'm going to score it at five. I'm going to score it at six and a quarter. And I'm going to score it at seven and a half. Now I will have all these measurements over on my website along with cutting and scoring and pictures as well um, at www.stampwithshar.com. So now we're going to flip it over to the five and a half inch side and we're going to score it at one inch. And we are going to score it at three and five eighths. So three and three and a half. What is that? Three and a half. Three and five eighths like so and that's it I'm gonna bring in my paper snips and if you look over here you have a, a slim a thin line here and a thicker line here so we're just gonna flip this around and we're just gonna take our paper snips and cut this away because we don't actually need that and we don't need this piece here like so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to enforce all my score lines using my bone folder to give it a nice crisp edge like so I am now going to bring in my envelope punch board and what you want to do is you are going to line you have the fat side and the thin side and you're going to fold your cardstock in half you know on the score line and this line that runs over here is where you're going to put it into your scan, uh, punch board. So technically it will line up at the one inch mark over here. And you're just going to punch it. And then you're going to go to your next line and do the same thing. One inch mark and punch it. And you're going to do the same thing. You're going to just keep moving down your score lines 
and punch. And you're just going to go all the way. Until it looks like that. Okay. What you're going to do now, you're going to take your paper snips and you're going to cut up these lines like so. Again, all these instructions will be over on my website at www.stampwithshar.com. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some tear and tape. <coughs> okay, so I'm going to add tear and tape on the top and just below the score line and then on this little tab on the front and on the back. So I'll do one. So below the score line. I have one that I've already done. So right at the top just below the score line and then on either side of the tab okay so you're going to want to peel this off And then what you're going to do, you're going to fold this thicker piece, you're going to fold that over. And you are going to bring this in, you're going to fold it around, and you're going to slot this little piece into this underneath here. So you don't want to firmly press it down until you've got that in there. And you want it to meet up with that score line. And once you have that done, then you can start really giving it a good press. Okay. And as you can see, that's going to form the coffee mug. It's going to form the coffee mug like so. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my multi-purpose liquid glue and I'm just going to give a little bit of glue all over. What I'm going to do now, <coughs> excuse me, I have a one and a quarter circle punch. I'm going to punch that out. Then I'm going to take my two inch circle punch. And punch out that and this is going to be my handle. I'm now going to take the two inch circle punch and I'm going to punch out two two inch circles. And this is going to go on top of my coffee mug on the bottom to hide all this ugly that's going on right now. So I'm I'm going to stick that on top, like so. And 
And with the Tombow, you need to hold it a little bit because it kind of moves and shifts on you. Okay. I'm going to take the other two inch circle and put that on the inside. Again, covering all that ugly. You're just going to pop it in. And because you're using Tombow, you've got a little bit of wiggle room before it sets up and dries, you know, which is great. But now you can see I've covered the inside yucky and I've covered the outside yucky. So you just want to take something and like stick it in there. Give it a few minutes just to kind of set, if you will. <clears throat> what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut out all these papers. And this is cut at one inch by two inch, um, the designer series paper. Now you don't have to use designer series paper. You can heat emboss along your cup. Um, I just thought that the designer series paper was really cute. So I've got my trimmer and I am going to trim up some pieces. Alright, so let's do it this way. Because if the, you notice there's grains going this way and if you flip the page the grains will go the other way. So, and now I'm just going to Cut out two uh, two inches two one two three four five six perfect just what I need all right You're going to take your Tombow, you're going to go around, and you're going to add all your pieces on, like so. Love the way this little cup came out. Super cute. Now, you don't have to use this particular designer series paper, but... I am very in love with this coffee cafe bundle. Just making sure you're straight. And you just want to go around and add all your DSP. I will have a list of all the products I used if you click down below. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe. Click on the little bell that will give you a notification every time I do a new video. I do videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday and on Tuesdays and Thursdays I just do images. So, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday I do videos. Alright, so, I've got my Simply Scored board in there again. And I am just going to, just before the one inch, I'm going to make a little score on there and below. I'm going to miss the one inch and the one next to the one inch, I'm going to make another score and below. So you've got this little double scores like that and that's going to be the handle. Okay, so you're going to glue the handle shut 
and you're going to put glue on here and that's going to go on here how cute i love it i think it is adorable I do have a bunch of giveaways that will be coming up, so stay tuned for that. And again, you just got to hold it for a second because the multi liquid glue doesn't dry straight away, so you get a little bit of wiggle room to play around. <coughs> Excuse me. I swear the allergy season is killing me all right and then you're going to just stick a little bit of glue like that and you're going to glue that shut i'm going to take a couple of these little pegs just to let the handle set but isn't that just so stinking cute adorable i love it i love the way this turned out such a nice way of giving something to somebody and again all the measurements and instructions will be over on my website www.stampwithshaw.com if you are new to my channel please subscribe and thanks so much for stopping by have a good day take care